Hey, good looking. What's up, cooking? I'm cooking the meat firstening sauce, maybe known from the Italian bolognese manning sauce. I'm fastening some chopinette onions, and now I'm fastening some chopinette chorizo sauce manning that I've been cutting to pieces. And now we take the fried onions, uh, chorizo manning pieces, and put it in the grouter together with the onion. And now, peoples, we are about to brooning the uh, nut meat, which is made out of the coo, that's saying the moo. Which I crudin it with the salt and the pepper. Put it in the frizzening pan on the hot heat. Frizzening, frizzening and frizzening. We let the meat uh, browning a bit uh, before we put it in the grouter together with the onion and the chorizo shop mannings. And while the meat is browning, I am diskining uh, the cutting board and the beautiful knife. Taking in the disc meter on the knife, browning. And since this is an extremely beautiful knife, I'm driving it with a uh, uh, hand towel uh, fast because it's so beautiful. Now that the meat is uh, browned, I put it in the grouter together with the chorizo openings and the onion. And to not lose all the flavorings in the frightening pan, I will put some water in the frightening pan to get all the flavorings over to the grouter. Put it in the grouter. And now, uh, before I start to shopping some vegetable malings to put in the grouter, I put inside some organomanic shopping tomato nose. White wine that I saved from the flattening planes that I've been flattening. Take the holy bottle. Chopping the tomatoes. Organomanic, of course. And now it can stand and boil for a while while I preparationing the vegetable malings to put inside the grouter. And for the vegetable malings, I use. Organic little finding moo roots and organic celery that I chop and down. And I use the whole celery, the leafenings and the rootenings, and pretty much everything. I put it inside the grouter. Then I scale the carotenings. And then I ribe the carotenings on a ribe iron. Put it inside the grouter. And now the cooking is uh, basically finished, or actually the working is basically finished, but I put some other stuff inside the grouter. Some startling anise for uh, the signature Jonas Kullamar flavoring of this uh, meat firstening sauce. Put it in the grouter. Some bathing leaves, or as we say in Swedish, the lagering blades inside the grouter. And I also have some mushroomening soy sauce uh, for the color and also for some of the umamining flavorings. And of course, I'm squeezing in the garlic in the meat firstening sauce. Now I just stir it around and then I let it boil for maybe three, four, five, maybe eight hours before we can eat it. Putting on the look. And some parts of the video you haven't really been seen how it works in the real life. But first of all, uh, the meat I'm cooking is organomanic because I care about the environment, but I still love to eat the meat. 
Also, uh, it's very important with hygienics. So I washing the hands uh, all the time using this robot uh, soap dispenser. We do some salt and the pepper in tasting to see that it's perfect. And uh, we serve it with uh, some spaghetti, uh, fresh basilicanings, and maybe a uh, sliced parmigiano cheese. This will be delicious. And people, uh, don't forget to follow this channel uh, for some good music, some good Samokinian food, and a lot to learn about the life and livings of a jazz musician.